shock, maybe, surprise. At that time, I was still a junior. I didn't have a very good performance at Worlds in 2019. I went like five from nine. Too heavy. Missed my last two squats. I can only imagine the pressure that she's under right now. Missed my last deadlift for the win. To sort of still be invited felt like a bit of a fluke. Or that I was very lucky. I didn't think I was going to be invited when I was. I was like, oh. <laughs> Oh my god! They'd given me this gift of inviting me over so many other people, so I had to show that I was worthy of it. I think it was the day that it was cancelled. I just went for like a very long walk. I was upset, but so soon afterwards New Zealand went into lockdown as well, and I was working for a Māori health organisation, and I was Testing people, learning how to do the nasal swabs. Powerlifting just seemed like a very trivial thing, I guess, when like suddenly we're all fighting this virus. So once we'd gotten back to training in 2021, my training was going really well and I felt like I'd gained back the ground that I'd lost and was finally in a position to make PBs again. We went down to the South Island of New Zealand for our nationals in August and it was announced that evening we were going back into a snap lockdown from midnight. Uh, the rest of the competition was obviously cancelled so there was nobody else got to compete. So that was a hard one. When Worlds 2022 came around, things were still a little bit um, uncertain because there were a lot of rules still in place in New Zealand. All of the preparation for it was sort of tempered by, are we definitely going to be able to go? Like, is something going to happen last minute and we won't be able to go? Like, you, you kind of didn't feel like it was really happening because it felt that it could be taken away at any moment by another lockdown or the rules in New Zealand changing. I was also really nervous because I hadn't competed since June the year prior. So by the time I got round to Worlds, I hadn't competed for a whole year. And then like to walk in and do the biggest competition <laughs> of like the calendar felt really daunting. I knew that it was going to be a stacked class going in. We had a planning meeting with my coach and Rory, who was going to be handling me on the day. He asked me what I wanted from the day and obviously like qualifying for Sheffield was high up on the list. Even though I didn't have the best day, failing my second attempts and then coming back and getting them on my third. I feel privileged just to have yeah. some of the best seats in the house for that. He made sure that I would qualify basically by my second attempts. And then he told me afterwards and I was delighted <laughs> that we'd managed to get it. I felt that I'd been given a gift again and that it was time to like prove that I was worthy of the invitation. You know, we were in multiple lockdowns and training was not consistent and uh, motivation was not consistent and competitions were regularly cancelled. Um, yeah, it surprises me that I've put almost 50 kilos on my total since 2019 Worlds. I wasn't feeling very confident in my ability to compete and so I've had a lot of time to learn that skill of how to execute in competition. I've just had two back-to-back 9-for-9 -nine performances so I'm feeling good that I know how to do what I need to do on the day. I plan to bring the absolute best performance that I have in me. And I think, I think young Evie would be proud. <laughs> Everything that I've got is going towards this.